What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel where anything and everything is done outdoors. Uh, I don't know if y'all can tell, but we are actually in the parking lot of Chick-fil-A right now. So yes, we are actually doing a uh, Chick-fil-A cook-off challenge. My buddy Jared, yes his name is Jared, uh, is going to be the cook-off judge. Uh, we're going to go in, buy a Chick-fil-A sandwich, come out, and we're probably going to go to the back of the parking lot so we don't cause much of a scene uh, to cook the Chick-fil-A sandwich out of the back of my 4Runner. So, it's a little different. I think I told y'all that I kind of wanted to step up my cooking game lately, so that's kind of the goal of these uh, challenges. If y'all enjoy this, don't forget towards the end to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Uh, and if y'all do like this, let me know, because we might do more challenges like this uh, in the end. So, let me go ahead and get the sandwich, and uh, we will go to the back of the parking lot, and I will see y'all in a few moments once we get set up and everything. Thanks for tuning in. See y'all in a minute. All right, y'all, so we are technically in an abandoned parking lot. So Chick-fil-A is right there. Can you see it, Jared? Right, <laughs> Chick-fil-A is right there. So let me show y'all, y'all have already seen, like as of right now, I'll just go ahead and roll for y'all of everything that I did to prep the sandwich. So with that said, here's a voiceover of me telling y'all how I prepped my sandwich. So last night I beat the meat in this. That's literally what it's called. I beat it to tenderize it. I put, um, pickle juice over it and let it soak in the pickle juice uh, overnight in the fridge. And then this morning I went ahead and pulled the chicken out, let it uh, literally let it sit for about 12 hours. Uh, it had an egg as well as all purpose flour, just Publix brand. Uh, I doused it in the egg and then I mixed it up in the flour really well. All right, so let me show y'all what we have going on here and how we're gonna do this today. So here's the setup. We are cooking on a Coleman stove, a uh, propane stove. Uh, we are gonna use tongs for dipping it in there. I'm of course doing peanut oil. The very, I have already done this in the past and I did not do it with peanut oil. I made that mistake. So we're doing it peanut oil. We do have Chick-fil-A sauce. This is the actual Chick-fil-A sandwich. And of course, this is my sandwich. So basically what you're going to do is not determine like if it's Chick-fil-A or if it's mine. He's going to determine if mine is better or if Chick-fil-A's is better. So uh, y'all possibly already know what the end of this result of this is. So uh, hopefully I win. We don't know what the end result is, but hopefully I win. We'll find out in just a minute. Anyways, time to get cooking y'all. Alright y'all, so what we're going to do is get the peanut oil. And Jared is a phenomenal cook, so we may actually legit have more cook-off challenges with him. Um, but we're gonna get this oil, and I gotta get this little lid off. <laughs> Alright, so now we got it off, so we're gonna go ahead, put some oil in there. And I didn't think to see if this would actually be, like, enough or not. Jared, what do you think? Should I pour it all in? Alright, we're gonna pour, go ahead and pour it all in. That was perfect amount. So, Chick-fil-A's rule of thumb, uh, from what I've seen, I think it's like 250 or 350 what they try to get the oil to. Uh, we do have a thermometer, but me and Jared have already stated that we're not going to worry about that. So. Alright y'all, we have it at uh, 250 as of right now. So, we're going to go ahead and grab what I have prepared and what y'all have seen. And do the moment of truth. That's beautiful. Alright y'all, we are done. Here's the finished product. So we are now going to go ahead and start the taste test. You ready dude? All right, y'all, so the way that we're doing this of how Jared doesn't know which one is what, uh, I brought my own buns, so that way he doesn't feel the, we already tossed out the Chick-fil-A uh, buns, that way he doesn't know the actual texture of the buns. So here is, of course, um, Chick-fil-A's, and then, hopefully this is cool down a little bit. Here's mine, uh, I wish I would've had a little bit more meat on there, but uh, we're learning, this is the second time I've ever done this, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and 
get them all sauced up and we'll put a blindfold on Jared and we'll put him a little further away from the car and we'll uh, hand him the hand him the food and see what's better. Well, all right, y'all, here's the final product. This is sandwich is A for Chick-fil-A and this is B. Uh, y'all tell me which one looks better, either A for Chick-fil-A or B for my sandwich. So we're gonna go ahead and it's Jared's time to put the blindfold on. Uh, thank you, Allison, for loaning us the blindfold. We're gonna go ahead and put the blindfold on and hand him the sandwiches and see what he likes. You ready, ready. Jared? All right. All right, y'all, so how I'm gonna let y'all know of what the determinant of the sandwich is so he doesn't know. Uh, as I, I'm gonna pick up a sandwich, hold it over to y'all, and y'all see, like, sandwich A, sandwich B. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. This isn't sketchy at all. You blindfolded in an abandoned parking lot. Here you go, hold out your hands. You can go ahead and eat it. All right. Smells like pickle juice, so that could be either one. You got it? Mmm. <laughs> Can you hand it to me now? That's a good sandwich. Definitely pickly. All right. For the next one. Here you go. Hands out. Okay, off first bat, this feels a bit beefier than the usual Chick-fil-A. Alright, one set. Alright, so moment of truth, Jared. Okay, the, well. The first one or the second one, which one did you think? Okay, well, obviously this one is not a Chick-fil-A sandwich. So I don't know why I'm blindfolded. But, <laughs> I will say... Your sandwich is a lot better. Are you serious? It is. Uh, what stands out the most is the crunchy skin or the, the breading of your sandwich. There's, yeah, there's just that sweet crunch to it and a lot more juicy. Are you serious? Yeah, your fly. So, yeah, I'm taking. Oh my the gosh. Sandwich. Well, y'all, I actually cannot believe it, but I actually beat Chick fil A. So, were you impressed for real? No, it's good. I am highly impressed. Uh, so there you go, guys. Uh, I'm really seriously impressed that Jared picked my sandwich. Uh, I, like I said, I have done this before. I have done this before. Uh, that was my second time to actually do it. So, uh, yeah. Thank you all so much for tuning in and watching this week's episode. Uh, this is, again, Jared. Jared, thank you for being our guest on the show, if y'all, or on the adventure, rather. Uh, if y'all enjoy Jared coming along, he actually is an amazing cook. And so, uh, we will maybe do some cook-offs. I was going to do a cook -off. You don't have to. You can take the blindfold off now. I'm taking these with me. <laughs> I'm going to eat one of them, man. <laughs> I'm, Jared, don't... <laughs> it's a good thing this is an empty parking lot. Anyways, uh... Thank y'all so much for tuning into this week's episode. If y'all enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. It would really, I would greatly appreciate that. Also, subscribe uh, for more weekly adventures. Next week, we are actually going fishing. Uh, and the reason Jared asked me earlier, hey, why are you doing this? Because I actually want to start like beefing up my cooking skills on this channel. I know it lacks a little, as y'all see in in other videos. I literally am cooking uh, soup in uh, out of cans, so I'm trying to step up my game in that. But anyways. Thank y'all so much for tuning into this week's adventure. Jerry, do you want to say anything else? It's good, guys. <laughs> Until next time, I'm Jared. I'll see y'all on the next I'm adventure. I'm as shocked as you guys. Where you want to go right here? It's rolling. If you want to get uh, throwing. All right, y'all, we have... Well, well <laughs> got... Scourge! It's freaking got two plays on the episode. Uh, if y'all enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you like and subscribe, also, we're gonna do that.